Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make some stencils. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. You might need to invest a little bit of cash, but I promise it's worth it. So what you're going to need is a computer, tablet, or phone for your image. You're going to need a printer. You're going to need a laminator. And you're going to need a sharp knife to cut your image out with. And, um... Yeah, by the end of it, you should be making some pretty sweet things like this. You can spray paint on um, whatever you want. So, let's get to the computer, and I'll show you the first steps. Okay, sorry guys, I messed with it for a while, but I can't figure it out. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be a little bit tingy, but anyway, what you do is you come onto your computer or tablet or whatever you're doing, and... So, for example, here I have a stencil, and I'm using this as an example because it's nice. You just cut out all this black, and you leave the white, and then when you spray paint it, you're left with your image. It's really nice. But what I do for word text is I go here, go to this app called Pixlr. Now, go into Advanced. Boom. You can create a new project. You want a full HD image. Create. Go in here. Make a Word document. Add. Let's, let's just do CHB because that's the crew and then you could line it up make your size whatever you want uh, change your text here and you can cut that out now keep in mind though you need to leave a space where this B would still be connected for that to be seen but you can figure that out on the drafting table if you really wanted to but anyway you're going to do this you're going to go boom you're going to go to print uh, it's gonna show so if you're off-center, you're just gonna go back and forth trying to line this up It's a weird thing. I don't know why this app is like this, but boom. That's pretty close I would print that and go cut it out. So I'll see you at the table So you would come over here to the printer Obviously you grab your sheet. It would be right here, but I've been working on my Shutter logo so much. I didn't even print one, but what I'm gonna do for demonstration purposes is to take your lamination paper Opened. Try to center it as best you can in there. That is pretty good. Flip the laminator on. And we're going to wait for this guy to heat up. Now I know some people are going to be like, Oh, you don't have a laminate, blah, blah, blah. We can't normally do that. No, no, no. Well, I'm going to tell you right now on Amazon, a laminator is 30 bucks. And then a sheet, like a pack of the sheets of laminating paper is like, another 20 for a hundred of them so really I don't know $50 investment roughly and you're gonna be making stencils that last you like several years easily I think it's uh, definitely a good investment if you're planning on making stencils seriously and if it ends up being like a super big problem I mean you can always resort to using really thick cardstock and doing sort of like a tracing method it would take a lot more time and I don't know that's where it's like time versus money so it's really up to you guys can't write on lights green so then what you're gonna do is there will be like these two lines here and here you gotta try to put the paper in between them and you can just kind of let that flop and it'll go my one recommendation is that you kind of sit over here and you don't let this flop. I have this sort of set up nice where it catches it, but like ordinarily that would flop and then you get this weird bend in your plastic and it's just way nicer when you have a flat stencil, obviously. Sticks to the wall better. Here, this is a good example because I didn't care about this one. I stepped away from it for a second and it pinched. And look at that warp, that's in there permanently. So you're gonna wanna stand there so that you can catch it and it comes out nice and flat. Now you're just going to take your sharp knife. I recommend the um, more like Dr. Scalpel style. I got this one off bombingscience.com. Really sweet. They're like comfy in your hand knife. Yep. Sure, that'd be sweet. <laughs> right on. Now we're going to just go cut out the colors pretty simply. Oh, I think you guys understand from here, right? 
You're just gonna freaking <sighs> keep doing this. Sometimes it's annoying, but yeah, you get the concept and you'll end up with some crazy cool things. Like I got this parachuting rat and this one with a roller. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. I really hope that this video helped you guys and maybe inspired you to go create some stencils of your own by a laminator because honestly, like, I'm serious. The quality is just crazy and it'll last so much longer than cardstock or anything like that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to cut it off here. If you wouldn't mind like, commenting, and subscribing, it's free and you can always change your mind. Peace out.